Hello Universe, Vander said here, beautiful weather right, awesome, I guess it's raining there and I guess it will come here, oh god, yeah it's gonna come here, you see that rain, the rain is coming here, Woo! oh god, oh god, oh god, it's almost here, I don't know if the camera can see that, yeah, and it is here. Close the bag, close the bag. Woo! It is raining. I was about to vlog and it started to rain. Great! It's raining cats and dogs, man. If you haven't connected to me on Facebook and Instagram, uh, should guys. Because I upload my rides, uh, right details and the right uh, schedules on uh, no, Facebook so you might want to check that monsoons have approached um, at least in Mumbai and uh, it made me think why not make a video about uh, some bike maintenance tips uh, for monsoons so uh, I hope uh, I hope this video makes uh, a lot more sense to you guys guys the tips that I'm giving you these are based on my personal experience of riding uh, from the last 15 years and also on uh, some uh, uh, some ways how the bike works uh, that I know and uh, also some uh, good amount of research that I did yesterday so let's get started guys so guys I'm gonna talk about uh, eight points uh, for bike maintenance in monsoon so um, I'll, I'll start with the points that are most important okay so let's start with the first point uh, the first point is uh, now obviously guys uh, uh, when you ride in monsoons, like uh, in such kind of roads, um, you, you need to have a good brakes, right? A lot of accidents take place in the monsoons itself and m most of the accidents uh, are of bikes. So, uh, yes, brakes play a very important role for uh, riding in uh, such wet conditions. You need to check your uh, brake oil, the brake fluid, like um, the fluid that we have here in, uh, in the Duke. And uh, the front Duke, front... Uh, oil is here so you need to check that uh, level um, uh, you need to maintain the level of the fluid for brakes and and also i'll suggest you guys to clean the disc uh, when uh, when you go out for a ride during the monsoons because uh, if you're a rider if you're an experienced rider you will notice that uh, there's always a thin amount of rest on the disc and uh, which is not really good for your braking because uh, the disc uh, goes inside the brake pads right so um, the rust will go inside the brake pad and that that can cause a problem so um, your brakes need to be in a very very good condition and uh, for that reason you need to clean the disc and then you need to regularly check your um, brake pads uh, i'm talking about the brakes of the disc right now i'll talk about the drums later you need to check the brake pads um, the brake pads shouldn't be uh, worn off like uh, they shouldn't be too old and uh, if in case you uh, have a um, brake pad that are worn off then uh, you should really um, change them then let's talk about the drum brakes now drum brakes uh, really can't uh, can't uh, be um, you know kept clean from outside because they are from inside so um, I suggest you uh, go to a mechanic if you if you're braking if you the brakes of your bike are not really that effective uh, I suggest you go uh, to a mechanic, a local mechanic and uh, you know get the uh, brake pads and you know just uh, replace them or um, you know tighten them. So that might help um, for your bike to you know uh, take control over the braking thing. Now the second most important thing guys is... Now um, I'm gonna stress on this thing uh, because uh, the tires uh, play a really really um, valid role in uh, riding on such wet conditions. Like you see the uh, the cars and bikes are moving um, really fast in this wet road. This is dangerous, guys. So your tires, your bike's tires should have a decent amount of grip available in the monsoons. 
if they are worn off i don't really suggest you uh, you ride on those tires because you know life is at risk so you check your tires uh, before the monsoon starts like uh, the this is the start of the monsoon so you should check your tires and uh, guys one more thing i'll stress here that um, during the monsoons if you keep the pressure of your tire uh, like normal like normal like um, for example if if your uh, manufacturer if your bike's manufacturer have suggested that your rear tire should need 32 psi um, pressure but uh, in the monsoons uh, like you can't keep 32 because guys uh, uh, when the road is dry uh, the friction and the grip of uh, the road and the tire is really really high because rubber gets warm right and the rubber sticks to the uh, sticks to the tar but um, it's not the case in the monsoons because uh, the roads are wet see the roads are wet and um, the friction is very very less so you need to increase the surface area of your uh, tire right and for that you need to lower the pressure so i really suggest uh, based on my personal experience i have uh, you know uh, crashed um, on my older bike in the monsoons once so based on my experience and uh, uh, based on the regular facts about riding uh, i suggest you uh, reduce the pressure of your both tires the front and the rear by at least 3 uh, 2 uh, to 3 um, um, psi because that will increase the uh, grip and the friction that will increase the surface area of um, your tire and the um, and the tar so and the road actually and that will uh, really help um, you know take your bike the proper grip on the road and uh, uh, it will also be effective in braking now the third most important thing guys is uh, this thing this thing chain the chain and the sprocket what happens in monsoons is that uh, this dirt you see this dirt so this dirt get accumulated on your bike and it spreads all o- all over your bike so uh, it also uh, also you know splashes on your chain and uh, the tiny bits of um, grains like the tiny bits of uh, sand you know sticks in your chain which is not really good for your chain because it will increase the friction of uh, your chain and uh, sprocket so it will bone of your sprocket uh, uh, like too easily and uh, your chain also gets hard like um, during riding you must have observed in the monsoons your chain gets hard uh, the reason for that is uh, the water continuously gets split on, on your chain and um, grease between the o-ring and the chain or if you have a normal chain then the oil and the lubrication all washes off and the chain becomes really really dry and uh, once the chain is dry uh, when you park your bike in the night and when you um, when you take out the bike in the morning or uh, on the next day you'll find a um a thin layer of rust on your chain i have seen this in my bike i've seen this in many bikes uh, in the monsoons um i've seen that yesterday actually um, a guy on the bullet his chain was completely rusted so um, that is not really advisable i would uh, suggest you lubricate your chain um like two times every 500 kilometers in uh, in the monsoon season usually we uh, lubricate the chain um and within 500 kilometers on uh, on normal dry days but in monsoons uh, you need to lubricate your chain uh, a little early and little uh, frequently because that will help uh, you know ride sm- ride uh, make your ride smooth and uh, also uh, it will uh, make the chain last longer now the fourth um, fourth most important thing is the so the air filter uh, it takes the air from uh, from the outside right now in the monsoon the air is very very moist it is very moist and what happens is that uh, uh, the air filter it becomes moist while you ride right and it becomes moist and uh, because of the pressure of the air and uh, as it is moist it can tear off sometimes um you must have heard a lot of bikes bray, um, you know um, you know stop uh, in the monsoons in the rains and they does just uh, you know deny to start because uh this might be a problem because the air filter um it might it might be very very moist and if it is very very moist guys the air really can't pass uh, with that um with that required pressure inside the engine so uh, your air filter should be cleaned at least i guess uh, you know you can clean it uh, after 15 days you know just take it out and um, clean it with a dry cloth you know first you can wash it or clean it with a dry cloth and um, that's it the air filter will work properly and your engine will never stall the fifth important thing uh, is the it is generally preferred to service your bike uh, before the monsoon kicks off and i did the same um augie uh, augie app did the same um it is advisable because uh, guys in the monsoons your bike uh, really uh, doesn't keep that well uh, like uh, uh, she is in the dry conditions right 
so in the monsoons all the oil on the bike everything gets washed off and your bike really becomes hard um, and um, you know the rusting thing it increases so uh, when you service your bike then um, it gets clean and it gets lubricated everywhere so that it gets you know prepared for uh, the monsoons so uh, it is advisable to service your bike before the monsoons and if you haven't serviced your bike yet guys uh, you have uh, a lot of time because the monsoons have just started and uh, they will last for like a, um, a couple of uh, months more. So yes, please service your bike because that's what she will need to you know maintain herself. The sixth point, uh, uh, it is not for all bikes but uh, preferably it is for the bikes uh, which are made up of uh, metal components like uh, most parts of it are of metal like uh, bullet, thunderbird, bullet than many other bikes so um, you can uh, you can you know apply that um, anti rust coating that you get in the market uh, for your bike um, i don't know the pricing of it because i don't really want to do it on my bike because it is a fiber body uh, bike so i don't have a lot of spots to do that but uh, people who have uh, bikes like bullet thunderbird you know metal bikes like uh, the casing is metal and everything is metal so um, it is generally preferred to apply that uh, kind of uh, you know anti-rust coating because in the monsoons uh, your bike can get rust anywhere you know you never know like the frame the frame of the bike it is uh, it is of iron it is of steel so it can get uh, rusted and you don't want to do that to your bike right so you can just apply your um, that uh, that uh, anti-rust coating it is not really compulsory but um, yeah it is advisable because it works the purpose now the seventh point is so generally what I do is uh, when I ride all the dirt uh, from the from the cars um, you know before me that gets split on my bike so this kind of dirt and it also gets uh, entered in, uh, in the radiator so the dirt from the tires it also gets entered into radiator and uh, the radiator gets uh, very very dirty i don't want any problem with the uh, fan and the air that gets inside the engine to cool it down so i generally uh, um, when i reach home um, after a ride and when i know that i'm not gonna ride today i splash uh, water a mug of water on the radiator uh, really hard because it will wash uh, of all the mud not all the mud but you know some amount of mud um, that uh, that will be required to clean the um, clean the upper side of the radiator so um, I guess that works and uh, generally it is advisable to, uh, to you know splash some water on your bike uh, because it gets all muddy and that can damage the components so yes many of the uh, riders out there wash their bikes uh, or you know spray some water on the bikes after they uh, come from a ride in the monsoons by the way this is uh, the eastern express highway uh, the bandu village bus stop is there last the eight point in the monsoons if you have to park uh, your bike but uh, guys if you have an option to park uh, in an area that is uh, that is shaded like uh, private parking or anything that has a roof over it uh, any kind of roof uh, which will protect your bike from the water then um, please do that because you really want to avoid your bike getting washed its, uh, itself in the rain uh, all the time so you want to minimize that thing so you can minimize it uh, uh, if you get a chance uh, uh, to park your bike in uh, some shaded portion and um, if, if you don't have a shaded region or shaded portion there which has a roof then um, you get a bike cover uh, from the um, market it is really cheap you'll get it in, um, uh, within 400 or 300 bucks uh, for any bike i got my bikes cover for like 250 rupees only so um, please uh, take that cover and please cover your bike um, at the uh, when it rains um, because uh, preferably when it rains because in the rains your bike uh, you know gets under water and, um, and all night or all day it will be on water and you don't want to you know spoil or rust your bike right guys so yes that's about it uh, these were the eight points that i felt were necessary to uh, uh, tell you guys because uh, you know we can't really stop uh, riding in the monsoons it is the most beautiful uh, beautiful uh, time to ride as for me because you know you 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 feel really good right you feel really close to the nature in the monsoon so yeah don't stop riding of course but uh, you know uh, small small maintenance tips can help uh, you ride more better and uh, keep you safe in case guys you have anything to say uh, if in case i missed out any point um, then you can just comment down uh, below 
and uh, I'll, I'll surely reply uh, to those comments and I'll address those uh, queries if you have any. And guys, please like this video and please subscribe to me, guys, if you haven't yet. I make videos every week. So I hope you like this video, guys. Please uh, comment if uh, you have anything to say. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Till then, peace out.